Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Print the Source. Uh, so today I thought it'd be a great opportunity to just kind of go over, uh, you know, what are some tools that we use day to day with 3D printing? What are things that can make life a little easier as we print, um, helps with problems, uh, adhesion, uh, maintenance, you know, what are things that we should have on hand uh, day to day? So these are the tools and items that I use most and I wanted to share them with you. All right, so first up is our cleaning supplies. What are things that we use or I use day to day for my 3D printers? Things that I use to clean my build plates, keep them in top working shape, condition, whatever you want to call it. So Dawn dish soap is what I use. This works extremely well. Some hot soapy water, uh, give your build plate a good clean. Uh, I recommend doing this at a minimum uh, once or twice a week. I print a lot and I do it probably twice a week. Next thing that I do almost uh, every time I print something is I use IPA. Uh, so 70% or higher, this one's 91%. This was as high as I could find without ordering something online. I wanna say I got this from our local Ace uh, hardware store um, and a microfiber cloth. So throw a little IPA on your cloth. You can wipe down your build plate. I do this with the build plates on the printer. That way I don't get any fingerprints or anything on there. You get oils from your hands. Um, and this, for me, uh, promotes adhesion. You know, it, it keeps your build plate clean, gets any dust and dirt off uh, in between prints. So like I said, I do this with the IPA uh, pretty much after every print, maybe every two or three prints. Uh, these textured plates work really well. Uh, you know, with the smoother plates, I'd recommend doing it more. Um, you know, there's adhesion promoters that we'll get into uh, as recommendations for the smoother type plates. But PEI is, is pretty solid. I like it a lot. And so that's pretty much it for what I use for cleaning supplies. You could throw some Windex in there if you've got some glass surfaces. Um, really anything to eliminate dust and dirt. Um, all those things seem to gravitate towards your build plate. So um, those are the two, three items. So your microfiber, IPA, and your dish soap are my top three items for your cleaning supplies. Definitely recommend having those on hand at a minimum. And like I said, you can always add to it as you find things that work a little better, um, but those are my recommendations. So number two on our list of things that you should have on hand for print cleanup. You know, what are you using once your print is done? Say you have elephant's foot or uh, some, some issues with some edges, maybe a piece of filament sticking out for some reason on one of your layers and you want to clean it up. Or maybe you need to round something off slightly. Uh, all those things are factors uh, to consider when you're looking for tools. And things that work really well for me, uh, probably the number one tool is the deburring tool. Uh, this thing is great. So it's great for edges, kind of, you know, it's got a little bit of a, a razor edge there and it's curved. So it, it's real good at getting into and smoothing radiuses and, and working on the bottoms of your prints, uh, edges that you can get to with this. If you can't get to this, try not to stab myself here, um, a razor blade. Exacto knife of some sort uh, works wonders for uh, you know those hard to reach places, removing supports, things like that. Uh, works really well for that. And you know these guys are cheap. Deburring tool, razor blade, Exacto knife. Uh, I got a little kit, and uh, I think it was like 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, another thing for cleanup: files. You know, uh, you may need to kind of shave a little spot to clean that up. Um, I have also this little file kit. Uh, they're real fine, um, small files, so they get into those hard to reach places. Uh, great to have on hand, especially when you've invested a lot of time into a print. You know, a lot of the stuff we're printing is 10, 12, 14, sometimes, you know, two days I, I've gone on, on printing something. And, and you want to have, uh, you know, decent quality stuff to help you clean up your prints so you get the result that you want when you're done. Uh, another thing, snips. Snips are great. Uh, these are, uh, I got these with the older printer um, and I've had them forever and, and they're just hard to let go of because these guys are small. They get into the small places. They're great, again, for removing supports. I feel like that's half the battle with prints is, is removing supports. Uh, tweezers. Tweezers also help really well. 
Uh, so these are what I recommend to have on hand. Uh, again, this video is kind of the bare minimum, like what should you have at least uh, in your inventory of items to use. Uh, so those are my recommendations there. All right, number three on our list, we're gonna roll into adhesion. What are things that we can do that promote better adhesion for a built surface? Um, so things like liquid glue. Uh, this is a Bamboo Labs one. They recommend it for PLA, ABS, and PETG. Uh, it works pretty well, it's pretty clean. Um, some people recommend hairspray. For me, hairspray, you know, you spray it, it's an aerosol based thing, so it kind of gets all over the place. So I would prefer the liquid glue over that. Another option is your glue stick. Glue stick isn't messy, it works really well. Easy to clean up um, using that Dawn Just Soap that I mentioned earlier. And then also, if you've got a glass plate and you don't want something to stick to your surface, PETG sticks a lot to glass. I believe ABS does sometimes. Um, using some painter's tape uh, actually works really well to kind of give a surface for that to stick to, and it also makes removal a little bit easier. So those are my, my main things that I would use for adhesion and what I would recommend. Uh, also, uh, going back to the cleaning supplies to promote better adhesion, your IPA, I mentioned the dish soap, uh, all those things work really well to kind of help you in the process of getting better adhesion. For the last uh, category, our number four on our list is our maintenance. So uh, printers, print extended periods of time, things wear out, um, you need to check things, tighten belts, things of that nature. So what should you have on hand? At a minimum, I recommend at least keeping track of the proprietary Allen keys, hex keys that come with your printer. Um, they give you these uh, so that you have something um, to use. Uh, if you want, you can kind of upgrade in that process. I use this 2.5 hex key for pretty much everything. It seems like almost every printer I have, the majority of the bolts uh, or hex nuts are a 2.5 millimeter. So you can upgrade and get you something a little bit nicer, but it's great to have those on hand. Another thing, look at uh, some other proprietary type stuff. So I printed this tool. This is for the Bamboo Labs printer. It helps uh, with the AMS hub to remove uh, the PTFE tube that connects to the back. Things that are optional, but always good and usually come with your printer is, you know, make sure you have a spare hot end. So when you are having problems or hot end goes or it needs to be replaced, you've got something on hand so you don't have any downtime. Uh, your greases are important. These are just the Bamboo Labs greases that came. I'm using that printer a lot as an example because they're kind of behind me and I keep looking at them while I'm talking to you guys. But uh, having, you know, the proper grease on hand to lubricate those moving parts and keep things uh, nice and smooth and running right. Uh, you know, other things to have uh, extra. This is a PTFE uh, cutter. Uh, so it, it cuts that um, tube without really, uh, you know, crushing the end. If you use a pair of scissors, you know, it kind of pinches it. This does a nice clean cut. You know, these are all parts that wear out. So having uh, appropriate tools to help with that process of replacement um, is only going to, uh, you know, make these experiences a lot better for you. Um, it's going to reduce frustration uh, having these tools on hand. And then you can kind of get back to printing right away, which is what we all want to do anyway, right? We want to print. We don't want to worry about our printers. So just having these things on hand um, will help with that process.